thanks everyone for coming again. I hope you enjoy it. Appreciate it. Thanks, Sam. Uh, so I'm Tim Hare. I'm really honored to be here. We have a really great turnout on a Wednesday, and we've had terrible weather, so I'm excited to be here. Uh, we're going to talk a lot about a lot of different stuff, so I hope you guys are interested. We have a great panel. So I'm going to start off. Uh, we have Amanda Caswell. So if Amanda, you can just tell us a little bit about yourself. Okay. Um, I uh, run a marketing company that is um, based on touring bands. It's called Alternative Pink. And um, we have reps nationwide and in Canada and the UK. Um, and that's basically it's me in a nutshell. That's awesome. Uh, from Berkeley, we have Andrea Johnson. Hello, good evening. How's everyone? Uh, I am an assistant professor at Berkeley in the music business department. I've been there for about four years and have worked in the music industry in a and administration for Island Records, Palm Pictures, Record Disc, uh, doing administration for artists such as Elton John, uh, Parliament Funkadelic, um, U2, a lot of fun people. And uh, I also do music licensing, and do that locally here, I'm hoping to work with a lot of the new films that are coming into town and uh, do some music synchronization uh, licenses for them as well. Phenomenal. We have Matty Trump. Hi, Matty Trump. How are you guys doing? Uh, I'm a producer in Boston. I've been doing it about 10 years. I've worked with um, a lot of local cats as Slain and um, now just recently Sammy Adams, this new artist that just came out. Um, and I've worked with Fat Joe, Styles P, Jada Kiss, a bunch of other artists, producing, engineering, mixing. And um, I recently started a new company called Matt Harris Music Group, which we're actually helping um, new artists learn how to brand themselves in the, in the digital world now. So I'm happy to be here. Thanks. That's great. And finally, we have Paul Rapp. Uh, I'm Paul Rapp. I'm an art and entertainment attorney. I live and work in Housatonic, Massachusetts, which is uh, on the other side of the state. Uh, I teach art and entertainment law at Albany Law School. Uh, I represent a lot of bands, a lot of songwriters, composers, uh, arts organizations. <laughs> I've helped create a couple of record labels. Uh, right now I'm working on an online uh, click-through licensing uh, portal for music for a film. Um, and before I became a lawyer, before I became... Is this thing on? <laughs> Hot mic. Uh, 30 years ago, I, I, uh, and I still do play in a band called Blotto, uh, which came out of Albany and had a hit in 1980 with a song called I Want to Be a Lifeguard in the following year. As this little student film that we did for the song wound up on uh, MTV the first day MTV was on the air. I, I tell that to people now and they go, wow, MTV plays music videos? <laughs> How has social networking changed the way that artists can promote themselves in this day and age? Feel free to just jump right in. Paul, you look eager. Well, I mean, for one thing, the, the, the day of the paper press kit is, uh, is pretty much over. Uh, you know, you'd have to go and get, get photos and get glossies and get them blown up and get them copied and, you know, get the piles and send them out. And, and most people don't want to clutter up their offices. Most labels uh, and, and, and most, most uh, journalists don't want to clutter up their office with paper anymore. I mean, the electric, uh, electronic press kit has kind of taken over. Um, okay. Um, in my experience, I feel that the artists sort of break down the walls, you know, when they're on Twitter or um, even Facebook, they become touchable. And, you know, everything from, you know, their, their van broke down or they, they're having trouble getting through customs, you know, you're right there with the band and you can reply to them and say, oh, hey, man, my band did the same thing. And um, they just become, you become more of a, um, more less of a fan and more of a friend um, in, with all the networking. I'd follow up with that. Uh, I totally agree with Amanda. That's, that's what we're looking for is to connect with fans and give them a reason to buy, to build different premium levels for those fans so that the 13-year-old who doesn't have a credit card can get uh, legally download from the band's website uh, their music and be able to connect with them in that way. And then also the rabid fan who wants the premium package, double DVD, 
safety, uh, you know, with live streaming uh, video of a, a concert they didn't attend, they can pay $300 for that package. Um, uh, we've seen uh, Trent Reznor do that with Nine Inch Nails, offering different premium levels uh, in order to connect with fans at different levels. And it's working really well for him as a, a major artist, and a lot of independent artists are starting to follow in that realm. Yeah, I think it's given a chance for artists to, uh, to actually break through on their own now and not need as much help from the major labels or even independent labels. Um, and, you know, just in the last year, you know, you had Soldier Boy who, who did a YouTube video and became famous on his own. And um, a project I'm actually currently involved in right now, Sam Adams, um, did a video, just a little video rap thing, and a million people watched. And then his uh, iTunes came out last month and sold 8,000 copies and was beating out, you know, Lil Wayne and, um, and other major hip-hop artists on iTunes and the labels, major labels went crazy. They, they can't believe anyone did this on their own and they're not happy about it. <laughs> and um, they, they did actually spread, you know, spread rumors that the albums were bought and all this stuff. It's been a pretty crazy month, but um, I think, you know, that's what it is, 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 is it's given artists the empowerment to be able to come out on their own Whereas before, you know, you had to get signed by a label, and that was your only chance. Like now, um, artists can do it on their own with a lot, you know, with a lot of hard work and dedication. <laughs> Yeah.